Welcome back, everyone. Well, as you uh, know, as part of our 12 Days of Giving, everyone here at Look Media selected a cause that they felt close to or that they wanted to help highlight information in this uh, season of giving. So Bob Freeman, who's our news director and sports producer, uh, selected the American Heart Association. And That's why correct. is that, Bob? I selected the American Heart Association because they also are the American Stroke Association. They have served mm -hmm. a dual purpose. And as you know, it really hits close home, home to me because I had that medical history. Mm -hmm. And what a lot of people I don't think realize yet is that children have heart conditions, have strokes. Because, yeah. you know, when I was telling people about my particular situation, they looked at me and said, wait, what? Yeah. You had a stroke at your age? You were a child, right. And, yeah. and so the fact that they bring awareness with their heart walk, we went out to the heart walk a few mm -hmm. uh, weeks ago, and it was all little kids, you know, mm -hmm. they were dealing with, especially mm -hmm. as far as the heart and the stroke goes. And that's, that's why I chose them, because when it, something personally affects you, you want to make sure right. when you have the opportunity to, to give to someone, that's who you choose. Oh, Bob, I think that's terrific. And uh, that we've got the interview coming up, so thank you for selecting that, and thanks for helping out. Thank you. Okay, here is the interview. Welcome back, everyone. Well, joining me today is Teresa Patron, who is uh, actually, you work for Capcom, Federal yes. Credit Union. Yes. I got that out, <laughs> I got it right. But uh, Teresa is here today to talk about an organization that we really just want to help raise awareness for, and it's American Heart Association. Yes, yeah. Now, all of your work is obviously in this region for this organization, but just as sort of the national umbrella. Right. American Heart Association. Well, it's the number one organization dedicated to helping people live healthier lives free of car cardiovascular disease and stroke. Um, it's, um, cardiovascular disease is actually the number one killer um, for both men and women um, right. in the country. So it's incredibly important that we raise awareness to try and establish healthier uh, habits. Lifestyles yeah. and lifestyles. Yeah. Um, you know, this touches all of us. I'm sure all of us know people, our family or friends that have suffered from heart disease. You know, I just want to cycle back and I think it's the number one killer. Yeah. For men, you would say, oh my God, it's the number one killer for men, but the number one killer for women right. also. Right. Uh, 2014 was a very good year. Yeah. So yeah. what happened? Uh, give me a couple of things that went on in 2014 that you want to highlight. Right. Well, um, I will say that personally, I, I got involved with the American Heart Association uh, because of my experience growing up um, as mm. an obese child. Mm -hmm. And um, when I was asked to join the board, that was really my passion. Yes. And um, I was fortunate enough to work with Capcom Federal Credit Union mm -hmm. um, to get involved in their Jump Rope for Heart and Hoops for Heart program, oh, right. which is their school-based programming um, to raise awareness among children about physical activity and how important it is for mm -hmm. them to you know, establish healthy habits and have a healthy lifestyle moving forward. Um, and it also raises money for the American Heart Association, right, too. It does. So, yeah, so it was a huge success. Um, their best year ever, you know, 140 elementary schools um, signed up. You know, mm -hmm. we sponsored 15 of them, mm -hmm. um, and we just couldn't have been more excited um, to see all of the kids that came out and participated. Well, you know what, uh, and I know there were a couple of highlights that, that we're going to discuss, yeah. but again, I just want to cycle back. Uh, we hear certain statistics about obesity, especially in children, mm -hmm. and two things are very uh, disturbing about this. One is the percentage of children right. who are overweight, right. even moving into the obese category, right. and the whole thing that you were talking about before we went on air is that this, they're establishing these habits when they're young, how difficult it is to break that habit so difficult. As later on in life, right? right? And one third of New York children are actually um, classified as obese or overweight. Um, That's and they're shocking. just, yeah, I mean, they're, it's going to continue to follow them into adulthood if they don't learn um, you know, physical activity and eating right. healthy at a younger age. So. Boy, I know, you know, we look at it, if you're my generation, you know, you look at the kids and you think, God, put that phone down, get out, exercise, right. do something, right. you know. Uh, and of course, there, it comes right down to healthy eating options and all of the things that sound so simple, right. yet to actually make it part of someone's regimen, part of their habit is, is right. much more difficult. Right. Um, another program that you mentioned to me that I thought was particularly important was the CPR program. Right. Um, 2014 was a big year for us. The government right. approved the CPR in the schools bill, um, which would um, require children to learn hands-only CPR by the time they graduate. And, mm -hmm. you know, there's a direct correlation relation in research between states that require it as part of their graduation um, and the survival rate for cardiac arrest in that state. Mm -hmm. So it's really, it's a wonderful success. We've worked on it for a long time. So right. we're very excited about that. Uh, you know, uh, one thing that I think maybe our viewers would appreciate knowing, 
you know, the classic sense, oh, he's got a heart attack, grab your chest. But, you know, when you go into any kind of cardiac right. issues, right, um, some of the signs are... I was surprised to hear about it. What are they? Most people are. You know, it's not the Hollywood scene of you grab your yeah, chest and right, you go right. to the ground. It's, you know, it's exhaustion. It's nausea. It's, right. it's chest pain, but it's pain in the back, it's pain in the arms. You know, and people walk around like this for a long time. And, you know, not especially no. women are so busy being caretakers for everyone else. That's right. That they're not taking care of themselves and watching for these warning signs. So a large piece of what the American Heart Association does is education and awareness to look for these symptoms, mm -hmm. you know, and don't just be prepared for that, you know grab your chest and fall to the ground moment. Yeah, sure, exhaustion, mm -hmm. uh, pain in your shoulders or in your back. You nausea. Know, the, the nausea, mm -hmm. uh, these are signs that, hey, take the precaution and have it checked out. Now, in terms of building awareness, February is a big month, right? Yes. All yes. right, so starting 2015, we're starting with a bang. American <laughs> Heart Month, we're really excited. It's coming up quick. Um, yes. So it'll, uh, on February 6th, there's actually okay. National Wear Red Day. Um, okay. So we invite people to dress in red mm -hmm. um, and make a $5 donation to the American Heart Association in exchange. You get one of these pins, which I am wearing today. Oh, yeah. Um, I see those all over. Yep, and we also have the wristbands if you choose not to wear the pin. But mm -hmm. it's really an opportunity to, you know, show the power that is the American Heart Association and raise awareness for what we're doing um, by seeing so many people wearing red and raise money as well. Um, buildings will be lit up in red. Oh, my God. Um, that's really? Yeah. So it's, it's a great day. Um, but the month is really about, like I said, it's, you know, it's raising awareness for, for those signs and those symptoms and things to be yeah. aware of, um, you know, with, with, with everything that we do. So. Sure. Now, um, locally, yes. I think you were talking about a luncheon that's going on with workout sessions and stuff like that. Right. This is particularly important because it's a practical application of these things that we're talking about. Right. Well, it's, um, it's the Go Red for Women luncheon that's mm -hmm. held in Albany in May. And okay. what that is, is it's an opportunity for, you know, hundreds of women come out all dressed in their red. Mm -hmm. um, and there's breakout sessions that range from everything from healthy eating to how to prepare healthy food for your family. Because again, that tie in with childhood sure obesity, you know, we need to make sure that we know the knowledge and the skills to prepare healthy meals. Mm -hmm. Um, so all of those things and a lot of education, all of those signs for cardiac arrest and things like that are, are brought up as well. Good, very practical knowledge, applications to, uh, to keep an eye out for any of these kinds of symptoms that yeah. might be inflicting yourself, your family, your friends, or whatever it is. Well, you know what? We'll absolutely have you back again before the luncheon okay. so we can highlight that. Yeah. And uh, have a wonderful holiday. Thank and you so much. thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. You're quite welcome. To see this interview again, head to our website, looktvonline.com. <laughs>